to be here today. My name is Teresa. I am the owner and artisan at NTS Design Co. I am a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint Company. I come live with you guys every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. to show you guys some painting tutorials. And today we are doing, um, if you guys caught last week's live, you would know we're working on this little yellow table. We cleaned her up and she was dirty last week. So if you missed that live, you can always go right back onto the YouTube page and you can rewatch that live. So today we're going to be fixing her and then next week we'll be painting her. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step project with you guys. Um, I find that I really think that that's something that you guys can see the entire process of a piece. Um, usually when we have these pieces of furniture, you just get a snippet of what we're doing and I just feel like this is going to give you a good insight of behind the scenes of just exactly what it takes to not only clean, fix, prep, paint, seal, stage, all of the things that it takes to be a furniture artist. And if there's a piece that you are a little challenged on, this might give you some insight to not walk away from those pieces that may be a little more challenging for you. Or if it's something that you have in your house and it's a loved piece and you want to do that as well. Um, yes, I think it is. <laughs> Good morning, Stephanie, thank you for watching. So, um, so today, like I said, we're going to be fixing up this piece right here. And last week we cleaned it. We gave it a really good scrub down with White Lightning, which is a TSP cleaner um, from Dixie Bell Paint Company. It comes in these granules just like this and you add it to a bucket of water. You can add it to a spray bottle. I personally like to use it in a spray bottle. So we just did that to make things a little easier um, and hosed her down. So she's good and clean. She's dried out. Um, but now we're gonna we're gonna fix her and I'm gonna show you just how to do that today. So the fixing stage of my pieces usually takes a lot longer than the painting stages, which is why we always show the painting stages because it's more fun. Prep is not very fun. It's just not. <laughs> so we're just gonna show you the behind the scenes of that. So anyway, here she is. I'm gonna kind of angle you guys down. Um, we're gonna take this top off. This top is MDF. I'm replacing a lot of things on this girl. I took the very bottom off. Again, water damage, lots and lots and lots of water damage. It is MDF. And if you don't know what that is, it's particle board. And it looks like this. That's what happens when it dry rots or it gets wet or any of those things. It's super gross. I can't fix that. There's no fixing that. So we're just gonna take the top off. I'm gonna go to Home Depot. Um, we have the measurements. I had a friend of mine help me measure because I don't measure very well. And so we're gonna rip this top off. I'm going to be using a piece of plywood and I'm going to order some feet for the bottom. And we're gonna make this thing look amazing. This is a girlfriend of mine. She loves it. She loves it for this. And she wants me to paint it in hot pink and black, which is what I will be doing, which is gonna be super, super fun. But we gotta get there first. So first things first, gonna be a little loud this morning. Have my trusty hammer. I'm going to knock this top off and get, yes, <laughs> yeah. Ugh, MDF, it blows up like a sponge. Like there's just, there, you, you can't save that. Like I don't even wanna breathe that in. Like that's just gross, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna take a hammer and we're just gonna knock this top off. Maybe wear safety glasses. I have eyeglasses on, so I kind of feel like that's almost the same thing. <laughs> so careful not to hit the actual cabinet when you're doing that because again this is also MDF and it will shatter and then there will be no fixing it <laughs> so when you're doing something like this you just want to be mindful see how you just needed a couple taps and it came right on off and there we go so now I'm going to be taking off I mean there we go so there's that so again, like I said, you can see the sides where that chip that I took off. This is MDF as well. This luckily did not get warped from the water damage. It, um, that's the only reason why I'm able to somewhat try to reserve this piece of furniture as much as I can. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to spin this around and I'm gonna take off, I need to support it a little bit better. I'm gonna take off the handles. And I'm hoping, of course they're stripped. So if they don't come off, we'll be, yeah, they're stripped. Whoever tightened it on there, they're super stripped. So what that means is I'm painting right on over it. I'm painting over it with the hardware on it, no big deal. 
I'll paint it and make it look fun and then I'll apply some gold gilding wax on top of it and make it super sparkly and amazing. So that's what happens. And what I mean by the holes are stripped, it looks like somebody just, just kept spinning the screwdriver in there. And so there's no, it doesn't look like this anymore. It just looks like it's chewed up. And I could drill through it, but again, MDF, I'm not trying to blow through this and ruin it because I will absolutely destroy this piece of furniture if I'm not careful. So I am going to, since I just got all these little like gross things everywhere, I have my broom. I'm gonna sweep this piece out. I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna need that for later. Give that a good sweep. Now we're gonna prime it, but I can't prime it with all the debris. Because that will get in my paint and that is a no-go. I have a whole huge pile of this. I can make a new cabinet with all the MDF that's behind it. All right, again, I'm just sweeping off. Making my little pile that I can get out of my shop once I'm done with that. But before we can prime, we still have some repairs that we need to do. And I'm gonna turn this baby on her side and I'm gonna show you the very bottom does have a little bit of water damage, but it is salvageable. All right, that's gonna to wanna to open and that's okay. So you can see here, it's gonna to wanna to do whatever it wants to do. You can see here where it's bowed up and it's lifted. So we're gonna fix that today and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix that. We are going to fix that with Dixie Mud, okay? That is um, what we use to repair things. I will be using a sanding sponge to sand, sponge, I can't talk, sponge to sand down. I made a mistake of taking a huge heavy door off the huge cabinet, never again was so hard to get back on. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. So this, I'm just gonna go over all of this before I do my split stick just really quickly, um, nothing crazy. That's just because this is obviously painted. I'm not stripping this because it's just gonna disintegrate. Um, I'm gonna take a sanding block. I'm gonna take, um, I save my Festool um, sanding papers and I'm gonna wrap my sanding block. That's how I sand, all right? And so I am just very, very carefully I don't want to take too much off. I'm just smoothing these edges. I'm going to bring you guys in as close as I can. Again, you can see where it all lifted and it started to separate. She knows that this is not in perfect condition. I am not expected to deliver this back to her in brand new condition because it was very damaged. But what I am going to do is just fix it up as much as I can without. I'm knocking off the lifted part. I'm just trying to smooth that out. And then I can come back with my sanding sponge and soften that. Because this is like 80 grit or something. These are 220, these pads are. going to be bowed out. It is what it is. I can just see if there's any, I may not even put any mud on that. I haven't decided yet. All right. Again, I'm going to have to sweep again because it is literally disintegrating. Um, I'm here painting a chair with sea, sea glass is such a beautiful color. You're doing a great thing by keeping it all on the landfill. Thank you. Yes. This is a girlfriend of mine's and she is trying her hardest to save it. And we are as much as I can because all right, I can't stand that because that's just literally disintegrating as I touch it. So some of this, it may just have a little bit more damage on it, but it's going to look better than it did when she brought it here. And that's all I can ask for. Okay. Again, you can see where it's lifted. 
that's where the water damage was. I'm gonna take a razor to that, actually. Let me grab a razor knife. I feel like that's gonna be more beneficial. And when you're using these razor knives, be careful. Obviously, they are sharp. So I am just going to run my knife down. I feel like that is gonna give me a cleaner line than trying to sand. Because it's just, it's literally disintegrating. Now I can take my 220 sanding sponge from Dixie Bell. This I will, that's, as you can see, it is just coming right apart. Just running my razor knife, grabbing anything that's raised. so I don't slice my hand open and come to the next side, which this side has a lot, a lot of damage. You can see it all right there. Hey, Patty. Thank you for watching on vacation. Again, not even going to bother. We're just going to take our razor knife run and you can see it's like just disintegrating. All right, close that so I don't cut myself. Take my 220. Sanding over that hardware. All right. That's as much as I'm going to be doing to her. Now let's do some mud and then I will use slick stick. Let me sweep up all this though first. Again. Messy, messy, messy. This is all the stuff that no one gets to see. <laughs> all the like, we do the highlight reel. It's like Instagram. You only get to see the good parts on social media. This is the real life, dirty, behind the scenes, yuck, gross. Like, there's half the piece of furniture, it's all dust. Stand this up again just to get underneath it. Move this right here, not pinch my fingers so I can sweep this off. And I just use these little, these little furniture dollies and I put a piece of wood on top of them because I'm too lazy to cut a piece of wood and put it in there. <laughs> That's really the only reason why there's that. All right, so now I'm gonna pick this bad boy back up and we're gonna do some repairs. All right, that's gonna wanna lay down. I have the MDF in my sandals. It's driving me bananas. But I don't dare go barefoot in here because it'll stick to my feet worse. Okay, so when I am messing with Dixie Wood, Wood, Dixie, I can't talk today. Dixie Mud, let me grab a stick, hold on. I feel like my mouth thinks it's Monday. It's really a Tuesday. All right, so when I am messing with the Dixie Mud, I like to wear, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you liking, sharing, all of the things. I wear gloves. It dries my hands out and it gets like underneath my fingernails, so I'm not a big fan of that. So I wear gloves. And here's my Dixie mud. And sometimes it separates. You can see you keep this in the fridge or it'll mold when you open it. So take a little stick, nothing special, just a little popsicle stick. And we're just gonna combine it back together. 
it's like cream cheese consistency. That's a chunk that dried. Throw that out. And we're just gonna remix this guy up. And it kind of like frosting, cream cheese, whatever kind of consistency you think it is. So it resembles sheetrock mud a lot, but it's great. Great to have, get it all good and combined. You want all the properties mixed back in because you're gonna need them. Now, Dixie Belle sells these little plastic spatulas that fit perfectly in here, which I absolutely love. Throw that away. Now, I'm gonna pull you guys in super close. We're just gonna mud this edge. About that much. And I'm just kind of smooshing that in there. Again, I'm gonna sand this again with my little sanding sponge from Dixie Belle. Those work really, really handy. I don't need anything abrasive. The abrasiveness I needed was from when I was first doing this before I decided just to use the razor knife. All right. Yeah, Dixie Mud is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite. It's my go-to in a pinch. It works great. Definitely don't need it up there. We're just getting the bottom. And apply a thicker coat just to kind of get that in there because you can sand back. It will shrink, so you may notice that you may need to do two or three applications of this depending on the area that you're doing. I'm trying to build up, so I may have to do more than one application. I'm just trying to get it in where we had ripped off with that razor. Again, it's not gonna be perfect because it did not come to me in perfect condition and she is one of those clients that does not have the expectations that she gave me a very damaged piece of furniture and has the expectation of me making it brand new because that's never gonna happen. And that happens with a lot of clients. People can get very discouraged sometimes, but the reality is, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, I can only do so much. All right, we're coming down this line. I can make it look better, but I'm not gonna make it look brand new. It's old. This is probably from the 80s. It's that like, whatever shape this is, piece. All right. Smoothen that out. Now, the tricky part is getting the other sides. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna get this side. Where'd my mug go? It fell. I found it. All right, so we're just gonna grab some more Dixie mud. About that much. It's probably way more than I needed, but that's okay. Or maybe not, honestly. This side had the most damage. And I was going to attach wood back to the bottom because it had a piece of wood that stuck out about this far so that the door could open and close. But I'm going to order some like one inch feet off of Amazon and that will be the end of that. Now, what I could do to make this more cohesive so it doesn't bow out at the bottom is just apply a thick layer of Dixie mud, so that way it's very subtle. And not as noticeable. Let's 
So there's that. And I think I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna come back and do the same over here. So I'm just gonna turn this guy which if I'm gonna do this today, that means that we won't be priming, we'll just be fixing, which is okay too. That means next week we'll prime this piece of furniture and I'll show you the steps that it'll be ready for that. So again, I'm putting a thick layer of the Dixie Bell mud over the bowed areas so that it is not as noticeable when it's standing up. It'll slightly bow out instead of a drastic bow And again, this is why I wear gloves, because it gets everywhere. I use Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty for my cabinet. Damage was so bad on the bottom. MDF will give before the Durham does. Yeah, no, I agree. All right. Throw it on your leg. Yuck. And this can be all lumpy and bumpy right now. That's what we want, because I want more on there than less, because I'll sand it back. I may need to get another container of mud. We'll see. This side isn't as damaged, so we're kind of lucky with that. I think that side's gonna be just good, just like that. Let me grab another container of mud, you guys. Hold on, I'm sorry. Again, I keep my Dixie Bell mud in the refrigerator so it does not mold. Although I use it so quick that I, I don't think that it would have the chance to. But, err on the side of caution, keep it in your fridge. This is a brand new one. We're still going to mix it. Just wanna make sure that all the properties are combined in here. Away in my trash. Now I'm gonna swing this guy on over. And we are very carefully going to get this edge. Here's our Dixie mud. Grab a ton of it. Um, wow, I didn't know you can repair with Dixie mud. Yes, you definitely can. Um, I used something else and didn't like the result. It's sitting on the shelf. <laughs> it's fine. You can definitely do that. Okay, here we go. Again, we're just slabbing a whole bunch of this on here. She ain't pretty, but she will be. All right, we're just gonna even, this one's awkward because it's at that weird angle, but we're making do. Okay, I'm building up so I'm not worried about the lumpy bumpies. And there we go. So, I'm gonna give her a, a turn around and look and see if there's any areas that may need just a little love. Again, this is previously painted. I will not be stripping it. I'll be painting right on over it. I don't typically do that. I usually will strip it, but in this case, I'm scared it's gonna fall apart. So we're making do. There's that. All right, you guys. She ain't much to look at right now, is she? <laughs> and it was a very quick live. I was going to slick stick with you guys, but I can't do that. Um, 
I was anticipating on just being able to just put this on the bottom and it would have been fine, but there's, there's no way. There's so much damage to it. And then I literally, don't put this down your drain, especially if you have septic. Your pipes will not be happy, okay? So I'm just wiping this off. You can wipe it off on a paper towel. I'm wearing gloves, so I just wipe it off. And then when it dries, I just sand it. It's not a big deal. And then I just take my gloves off and there's no mess. Ta-da! All right, you guys. Well, that was like the shortest life ever. I apologize for that. But repair phase, done, okay? Mud on my leg, I'll get that off later. So here she is, we'll spin her around again. This is gonna dry. I will lightly sand with a 220 sponge. Um, the Dixie Bell sanding sponges, they're foam on the back so that you don't tear up your fingers. And then they come in three packs or one packs from the Dixie Bell page, so you can order those from there. Um, how long will that take to dry? I'm gonna let this dry overnight, I'm not gonna touch it. So I'm gonna give it at least 24 hours, I'm gonna sand it back, I'm gonna apply another coat, I'm gonna sand that back, and then I'll probably do three coats. To be honest, there's so much damage. I want it to be as smooth as possible. Bye bye for everyone. <laughs> now everyone, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate you guys. So yes, three coats of mud on this guy. So it's not ever gonna be unless it, it shrinks when it dries. So you, you're never gonna just do a one and done with this stuff. Um, unless it's like just a little skim coat over like a little chip or something like that, then yeah, that's fine. But when you're doing heavy repairs like this, expect to be in it for, I tell all my clients, um, if you're giving me a piece that has damage, expect it to be in the repair phase for at least two weeks. I have to build the bottom out and put feet on it. I have to, rep I have to replace the top with plywood. Um, I saved the molding, but we broke it, so I have to repair that when I'm putting it back together. Like It's going to be a three-week project. So this with you guys, I wanted to take you through this process so that you could see from start to finish just exactly what entails in a piece of furniture behind the scenes. So <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much, and thank you. Now you guys know how to use Dixie Mud. It's a fun project. It's like you can, like everybody uses them for raised stencil or like to fill your holes in your hardware, but you definitely can use it to repair um, a very damaged piece of furniture. You just have to be patient and you have to put lots of layers on it. So at least three minimum, maybe even four. It just depends on, on how I like, I want that set finish to be nice and smooth because um, it did bow out so much. So I'm trying to fill in that gap and have it be very subtle. So thank you, Dixie Bell, for having me. I greatly appreciate you guys over there on the main page. And I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and stay tuned next Wednesday, we will be priming this gal. And then the following week we'll be painting and doing all the fun stuff. So hopefully between now and then I can get all the repair stuff done. So thank you guys, have a wonderful day, enjoy it, bye.